Welcome back. I'm here with Lindsay Stewart, who's a middle grade school teacher in Letcher County, and she's going to present in just a few minutes, so we were able to sneak her in for this interview on The Daily Show. Uh, she's presenting on, oh, excuse me, Christina Crace <laughs> from Floyd County, uh, and she is uh, going to be talking about forensic science engaging in STEM. So again, uh, we had you were, I'm so glad you're going to be presenting in a few minutes on that. Mm -hmm. And so you're in Floyd County. So, Christina, tell us about your project. So I'm going to do this project with one of my co-teachers, Courtney uh -huh. Flannery Kidd. Um, she teaches science. I teach math. Uh -huh. And so we are in the process of creating a STEM course for our school at Floyd Central. Uh -huh. And so in that process, we came up with a week-long forensics unit that we're going to do with yeah. our kids. So we're going to take her fifth period AP biology students yeah. with my fifth period pre-calculus students and combine. Uh -huh. And basically, we're going to set up a crime scene. And yeah. the students are going to use forensics, which is math and science combined, to figure out you know, the who, what, when, where, and why of what yeah. happened in the scene. Uh -huh. And so we're going to start off with a blood spatter analysis. Uh -huh. So we're going to set up the crime scene. They're going to come in, have to look at the blood spatter and figure out, you know, at what angle did the blood come from, you know, what caused that, you know, situation to happen. And then they're going to do some, some trig behind that to figure out, you know, maybe the height of the person and so on. And then for the biology part of it, they're going to do blood typing to figure out, you know, what type of blood it is. And then for our next part of that unit, we're going to go in and do like the, the bullet trajectory to see you know the path the okay. bullet took. So again, to talk about you know how high was how what how what was the height of the person, uh -huh. you know, and what angle were they shooting from. And then we're going to talk about fingerprints. You know, we can rule in some sus suspects. We can rule out some suspects by fingerprinting. Um, we're also going to do. Um, some we're gonna look at like some some bones and to see if maybe our suspect was one of our missing people that we have in, in you know in their yep. our community and so they're gonna do all kinds of different things just to figure out different clues basically to come yep. together in the end and say this is what we figured out based upon all of these clues and they're gonna justify it using their math and their science I would imagine your students are really engaged and excited about this. Yes, yes. We've talked to them about it and they're excited. I'm excited as a teacher to get to uh -huh. do this, you know, because we, we, for many years, have tried to figure out, you know, how to bring math and science together. But we're also trying to figure out how to get these kids engaged and, and want to learn this hard math, you know, this hard science material. And then they always ask, you know, when would I ever use this? Well, this is definitely an application of when would you use it? You know, you can use forensics to, you know, solve these crime scenes. And in that, you're doing your math and you're doing your science. So it's really exciting. Okay. And Courtney would love to be here. She would. She would. She just had a baby. So yeah, she's so at exci home. That's yes. exciting. Yeah. yeah three, he's three weeks old. So okay. she's with him, but she would love to be here. So how long have you been teaching, and what encouraged you to go into teaching? Mm -hmm. I have been teaching for 15 years. Uh -huh. um, I've always loved math. I've always loved helping everybody with math. Um, and I just kind of found my knack, you know, with it. And so I just kind of went into education, and I love my job. Wouldn't awesome. do anything different. Well, Christina, thank you so much for talking to us, and good luck on your presentation you. in a few minutes. Thank, thank you, thank you so you. much. Bye. So All right. Thank yeah, you. good.